Head over to BoardGamePrices.com to find the best price on cartographers and thousands of other games. Cartographers is a flip and fill game for one to an unlimited amount of players. And you're gonna go over four different seasons and you're gonna be drawing different Tetra style shapes and different types of terrain into your very own kingdom. Now there's four ways to score each game, but only two of these will score each round. And there's 16 of these cards, so there's plenty of variability in the scoring of the game. And they score in all different ways, like having forests connect mountains together or having fields and waters next to each other. And each season, many of these cards will come out and you'll be often selecting between what type of terrain and where to place the shape. Other times you'll have to select between different shapes. Some of them give you money, which is points. Some of them don't, but they're usually bigger. And sometimes monsters will come out and other players will be drawing on your sheet where they are because they're minus points for everything that surrounds them. And each round only two of these score, like these two in spring, these two in summer, these two in fall, and these two in the winter. And at the end of the four seasons, you're trying to have the most points. And on the back side of the sheets, there's a more advanced map that's a little bit more difficult. Hello, my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Cartographers has great art, graphic design, and iconography that's very clear. It has one of my favorite scoring methods of seeing what's scoring now and in the future and having it have a ton of variability where every game will be scoring different types of things and combinations. I like the mountains and the ruins give it a good twist of trying to you know, surround mountains and have to place on ruins. I like how the ambush of the monsters introduces the player interaction, but even with that interaction, the solo mode still works really well. And I like that you can play this with any number of players and it's definitely easily expandable by adding new maps and adding more monsters and more cards. Uh, on the negative side, it is a very spatial flip and fill game. So if you don't like sort of of putting those Tetra style pieces around, it might not be for you. But if you like spatial style games where you're drawing them in, this is one of the best I've played. Uh, highly recommend this game, Cartographers. This video was shot on a Game Topper, the ultimate gaming accessory. After successfully fulfilling their first Kickstarter, Game Toppers are taking the world by storm. Now you can get your own portable gaming top by participating in Game Toppers Kickstarter 2.0 starting June 25th, 2019. New styles, new sizes, and amazing new game mats. Go to GameToppersLLC.com to enter a full Game Topper system valued over $1,000 to also bring you to the Kickstarter project page and to Late Pledge.